Hey everyone, it's Emily and I am back today with a brief update of where I've been and I hope first of all that the lighting is fine because I am recording this at night. But yeah, so um, I've been gone for a minute. Um, I haven't really been doing a lot of budgeting videos and <laughs> I feel like I owe you guys an explanation of why. So, um, yeah, so I got my Kool-Aid here, y'all. Got my Kool-Aid and I have a little silk here. So I hope you guys um just uh tune in to my update. Okay, so um the reason why I have not done a video is because I have had a lot of financial setbacks. Um and I, I got a list right here, so you'll probably see me looking down. But yeah, in the last couple weeks, things have been crazy in my life. And things have been crazy with my finances. So I just wanted to come and give y'all a brief update about what's been going on with me. The first thing I'm going to talk about is um, pay increase. Yeah, I got a raise, you guys. Um, I got like a 40-something cent raise. So now I'm making about, I think it's like $11.70 an hour. Um, and I'll get the correct amount for you in my future budgeting video, but it's like eleven seventy. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. I don't know. I must be coming down with something. But anyway, um, yeah, so I got a pay increase. And um, although I did get a pay increase, and it does make a difference in my check, but um, I went in and I uh, currently have my with federal withholdings. Um, they're not taking any taxes out on me currently right now for federal. Um, and I did that for approximately, I'm going to do that approximately for two months and then I will change it back. But I just had a lot of bills and things that were coming in and I needed to go ahead and get my money now instead of waiting for tax time so um with that being said my checks have been a lot more with them not taking out those federal taxes so um i will be changing those back in about two weeks so yeah um also with the pay increase came my bills did increase and i told you guys a little bit about that the last time that i did a video a budgeting video um so yeah my bills have increased um it is the summer months so my electricity bill has went up and then my gas bill has went down so i i do my house um my townhouse is furnished by electric and gas so uh, my gas is currently running about 20 to 25 dollars a month and my la my current bill that just came out is my electric bill is running me almost 80 to 85 dollars a month so yeah so once and i live down south you guys by the way i'm from south carolina if you did not know um and my old my old subbies do know but if you're new to my channel i am from south carolina um we have warm and hot temperatures all the way up until late october early november so, um, but my bill should be going down within, um, maybe the first week in October, my electric should be coming back down. So, which means my, um, power bill, uh, won't be so much. So anyway, um, do y'all like my hair? Yeah, I, I tried something different with it. I know this is off, uh, uh, topic, but yeah, I, I did, I curled my locks or whatever. So put, let me know down in the comments if you like the curly lock look or whatever. So yeah. Oh, my rent did increase from $262 to $493. And I, if for anybody that don't know, I live in income-based housing. And basically, when your income goes up, your rent goes up. So that's why my rent went up. And um, I'm trying to get a decrease because of my child care went up so I can report that increase in child care and it will actually go towards trying to you know give me a little bit of a reduction on my rent so that's another thing I want to talk to you guys about um child care went up significantly I paid last year $35 a month for my child to attend a wonderful after-school program 
but she switched schools and it did not no longer uh, do that particular child care facility for her school that she's going to now. So she went from a charter school back to a regular elementary school. And yeah, so now I'm paying 35 a week, which is about 140 a month, which is a great, a significant amount. So <clears throat> especially for a single mom like me that does not receive any child support and I'm doing everything solely off of my paycheck income. Okay, so that went up. So I'm having to actually um, find ways of covering that child care. So um, I have it budgeted in now, but that's going to change because, I, like I said, a lot of things have happened with my income and with my finances and whatnot. And um, so that goes back to me telling you, um, yeah, so it's back to school time. Um, I did not have a back to school sinking fund, which I totally, totally regret because um, I just didn't have it, and I had to pay. I had to go over to my other sinking funds and take money out of my other sinking fund because I did not have money for things that she needed. Which, by the way, uh, she's been in school for this will be week four coming up, and. Um, I just I haven't been able to go back to school shopping for her because I just not have any extra money. I didn't have any extra funds um, for that. So she's been wearing everything that she had that she did not outgrow. Um, and yeah, so I didn't buy her any new new school clothes as of yet. She she didn't even get any new school shoes. I did buy her a pair of five dollar shoes, but to me that doesn't count. They were just five dollars. Normally I pay about thirty five forty to fifty dollars for a pair of shoes for her but i just didn't have it you guys um hairdo she did get a back to school hairdo which i paid about forty dollars for so she got her hair braided washed and braided and um whatnot by a friend of mine and i paid her forty dollars uh what did break down my budget was i did not factor in the fact that um that last week of summer camp ended so before she went back to school she had a week completely out of out of summer camp so i had to basically come up with more money to pay someone to watch her while i was working so i had already paid approximately um 350 dollars for summer camp for her then i had to come out of pocket i paid another 40 dollars to her aunt to watch her uh, for like a uh, a week well probably like four or five days and then I had to pay someone else $40 to watch her in which that's a whole nother story this is the thing that I wanted to come and tell you guys about like I have really really been through it the last three weeks like just really going through it um my car was stolen guys um my car was stolen um, by someone that I trusted and uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you um, it was a boyfriend it was my boyfriend he stole my car um, not only did he steal my car but he stole my debit card and he used about $50 off of my debit card that's all I had at that time um, thank God he did not find my other um card with my emergency funds as well as my sinking funds but he went into my wallet and stole the car that i had allowed him to use to get gas for me um and I i'm just not gonna go into all of the details on this video if you guys want a story time about my boyfriend stealing my car stealing my debit card and my cash click down below and I can do that video for you guys, but I, I just got to get a good amount of people that wants it for me to put that information out there. Um, but yeah, so my car was stolen. My debit card was stolen, you guys. And I had about $50 in cash that was stolen. And then not only was my cash stolen, but this right here, I'm going to show you guys. And my last budget and video, I showed you guys that this was halfway full with change. 
he ran through he pretty much ran through all the change that was in the jar this is all that i have left and actually didn't have this much left. i've actually deposited some this last week into this jar but this was my savings that i was going to add to my savings account so as you can see is very little left in this jar but i'm going to come back and i'm going to show you guys um me adding getting my change jar back up but um i just wanted to tell you guys what was going on but yeah my car was it did ended up being returned to me he ended up bringing it back to me but it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse situation, guys. I just thank God that God was watching out for me and that my car was returned. But um, as far as my debit card, um, the bank did refund me back that $50, which I thank God for that as well. But I did lose $50 in cash and I want to say approximately I had about $40 in change in this jar. So I'm going to say I lost about $90 overall with him stealing from me. And then I lost maybe an additional $140 on other things with him. And I'll get more into that into the video. So if you want to see the video, about how my car was stolen and my debit card and my cash click down below and i'll get a video out for you guys but uh yeah so that's it you guys i'm just gonna come really quickly and i'm gonna show you guys um me trying to get my savings back up with my coins and stuff so i'll be right back all right y'all so i got all my change poured out of that jar i don't have anything in here don't have anything in here anymore and I don't have anything in there. So I'm just going, I poured it all out here and I'm just going to go ahead and count all of this minus the pennies. The pennies, I'm just going to deposit it into that shadow box there. And I'm going to count all my change out and then I'll tell you, give you a grand total of what I have here. So I'll be back in just a second. All right, everybody. So as you can see, I got all my change spread out and grouped out here. I counted it. And I have $31 and 30 cents in change here. So I'm going to deposit that down in this jar and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show y'all my savings jar and we're going to put the stickers on there. So I got $31 and 30 cents now. Okay. So also in my sticker kit, I have these change ones with five, one cent, 25, 50, 75 cent. So I am back i got my jar filled in to show that i have currently 31 dollars and 30 cents inside of this jar here there's the jar and then so here i just have my uh my dollars and my cents here to show that i have a total of 31 dollars and in my jar so i'm just gonna write right here on the side that this check-in I have $31 and 30 cents and it is September the 7th and that's what I have in there now so I plan on adding and I'll just write down that and also I feel like I'm going to run out of room in the jar with the stickers so I'll just go ahead and add some stickers out here on the side or whatnot. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. And I appreciate all of my subbies, my old subscribers, and all of my new subscribers. And thank you very much for viewing my video. And don't forget to leave feedback down in the comment box. Take care.